Hi ladies, it's Nikki, I believe 30, and I'm coming to you all to give you an update. Um, I do apologize, it's been a little over a week since I last came to you and gave you all uh, the going on and the half men's with me. I am currently one day post egg retrieval. Our egg retrieval was on yesterday, 7.30 a.m. to be exact. Um, everything went well. I'm feeling all right with the exception of some pressure in my abdominal area. Um, and I've been a little bloaty in the top portion of my body, my boobs. I've been really, really sore. You know, TMI, but I've really, really been having really, really a heavy sensation soreness in my boobs area. Um, I've had some light cramping. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm very sore up top. Yesterday I drank about two pints of water. I was so thirsty. And I also had uh, about a liter of Gatorade because they tell you on the instructions to drink uh, things to replenish your electrolytes and you wanna have a lot of fluids in your body uh, because when they would take the eggs away from you, they're actually taking away, uh, you know, and, and you need to be putting these re replenishing back your body with fluids. So I, really really made sure I had enough fluids in me yesterday plus with the way that I was feeling so drained and tired um, I know that was what I needed was to hydrate. so I made sure I did that I also had two protein shakes I had a lot of fruit I ate um, a lot of pineapples I had mango and I ate cheese because for some reason believe it or not I was craving cheese um, I wasn't in much of a big big eating mood um, after we did the retrieval and everything, my hubby wanted to take me out for breakfast. We decided to just go by one of our favorite restaurants and order porridge instead. So we have porridge, which is good for you, cornmeal porridge. Uh, it's kind of like oatmeal. If you're from the islands, you know, or if you have parents that are from the islands, you know what porridge is. It's very good. It boosts up your immune system. Um, and I wasn't really in the best of mood yesterday. Um, the best of moods, but um, I made it through. I was very tired and sleepy, so for the most part of yesterday, I did get a lot of rest, um, and I was really, really thirsty. My hubby, he was so helpful. I'm so grateful for him. He totally pampered me all day yesterday. Everything he did, it all. I didn't have to worry about anything. Um, and this morning when I woke up, he made me a very good breakfast. Uh, it was healthy, and uh, he put some fruit on the side, some little strawberries on the side. Uh, he made ackee and sausage. And then someone went to Jamaica and came up and brought breadfruit. So I had breadfruit, ackee, and sausage for breakfast this morning. That made me so happy. Plus, that was the biggest meal I've ate in two days. So I really chowed, chowed down on that. <laughs> And that's all I ate so far today. I, like I said, I'm not in, I'm still not in the eating mood. I don't really feel like having so much to eat. Um, and so I've just been drinking a lot of water so far today. Um, I had another protein shake. And I'm just really going to watch what I'm eating these next couple of days because I really have been overdoing it. When they weighed me on yesterday, I was 173 pounds. So I put on weight. <laughs> Um, a week ago I was 165, so I put on quite a bit, about 8 pounds, and I think it's from the medications I'm taking and the fact that all of the meds that I'm injecting in me is making me very, um, moody and sometimes I want the weirdest things. I'm not over-exaggerating. I wanted, uh, some tuna fish, and then I had the, a feel for some waffles, the chocolate waffles, and I, I had a tuna fish. I went to Subway and I got a tuna sub 6 inch and I ate that and then I went to the corner store on the same street and I got me waffles. It was a CVS. I got me waffles and that's what I wanted and I was happy with that. So I've been doing like a lot of munching on very odd things that I usually don't eat and all of that is contributing plus the fluids plus the medications for my weight gain. So um, I got to kind of watch that. So, um, so today I went to the dentist, uh, I took my son to the dentist and, um, uh, we had a checkup 
that went well. We were running kind of late, so we got there. We had to wait for two other patients who were there, their appointments. We had got there at their time, so we ended up waiting until they were done, and then we went in. So we were just getting back in from a dentist appointment, and I said I wanted to come on since yesterday to update you guys with everything that happened. But for some reason or the other, this crazy uh, uh, video of mine that I downloaded would not take on YouTube. It just wouldn't attach. And I, I saw somewhere on here where it said that there were some difficulties with a few videos being uploaded. And I believe that's the reason. So I'm hoping that this video takes because I really want to get it out to you all as the result of what's happening with the eggs that were retrieved and I want to be able to come to you guys and give you all an update on my transfer as well so um, it is very hard it's a lot that I'm doing right now um, and I'm, I'm uh, to sit down and take the time to make this video I want to I wish I can carry you guys in my pocket with me and just videotape I really do need a reality show I think <laughs> I would like to keep you all posted every minute of the day, but it is a lot to sit down and make this video. My room right now looks like a hurricane hit it. I'm embarrassed to show you guys. I have medicines on one side. I have clothes where I just picked up from the cleaners on another. My purse is over there. My dresser has a whole bunch of mail. I have my laptop on my, my um, husband's side of the bed, and I have his laptop right now that I'm using. I just have a lot going on and then once I'm done with this I have to run go on the road and take care of some things so it is a lot going on I said I was gonna do my hair um, over this weekend because I just for some reason I'm just over it I know I said I was gonna keep it for a while but like I said I'm just over it it's just it's not looking like how I wanted it to look this hair I've been keeping oil on it and I've been tying it up at night, wrapping it and everything, but for some reason or the other, it is just not performing like how I want it to perform. And one thing about me, my hair has to be done. So I'm so close. I spend a lot of money to get this done, but I'm so close to taking it out and getting it redone over. The only thing is with that, that's another thing I would have to set the time to do. And then remember, I'm working, and then I want to also get rest. So it's like, I don't, I'm really confused with what I want to do with my hair right now. I may just go ahead and let it stay for another week. Um, just because simply, I don't have the time to sit down in the, in the beauty salon right now to get my hair done. I wish I could, but I just don't have the time. But anyway, so yesterday uh, at the egg retrieval, they retrieved a total of 14 eggs. Okay, which was awesome. 14 because um, I wasn't expecting so many simply because I, I I was having a hard time with spinning with the medication so I really wasn't expecting 14 but I did get 14 eggs I called a little while ago my husband and I called and out of 14 that were retrieved 14 were inseminated and we have a total of six embryos which is, hey, beautiful for me. <laughs> so yay, we have six babies. Um, so likely our egg retrieval, I'm sorry, egg transfer would be next week Wednesday or Thursday. I'm gonna hope that it's next week Wednesday, just for the sake of everything that's going on. Wednesday would be a better day for me. Um, my plan is to have two of the six transferred and we're gonna go ahead and freeze the other four until a year or two from after these babies are born and we try to conceive again so hooray the bad six 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 is a good number um meds that i'm currently taking i am currently on an antibiotic which is doxycycline um that medicine is to it's a antibiotic that they use for women going through infertility you may have heard it before doctors do give it out um, but I found out that that is a less harsh antibiotic for women that are going through fertility. I'm taking doxycycline. I have four tablets. I take my last tablet tonight. Um, I am also on Meddraw 4 milligrams. That is a, a, um, 
a medication that's used to kind of alter your immune system so that implantation can occur. Uh, it kind of like pushes your immune system to the side because sometimes our immune system fights off certain things. It rejects uh, certain medications. Uh, sometimes when you go to the doctor and you have procedures done, your immune system doesn't know what it is. It's recognized as a new uh, uh, cell. And the uh, I'm not a doctor. I'm trying to explain it the best way I can. But sometimes your immune system attacks those things. And an embryo is would be new. Okay, it's been over eight years. So we're going to... The medrol is to help uh, alter that immune system so that when the embryo is placed, it can, uh, you know, hold off and accept the embryo. You have some people, the body doesn't allow the embryos to implant, it rejects it. So that's what the medrol is for. I gotta hurry up because this thing is, time is rolling. Uh, I'm also taking uh, estrogen tablets, which prepares, that's something that you enter vaginally. Um, I hope no kids are watching this, so I'm using a lot of harsh words. Yes, it is entered vaginally, I said. Okay, and it prepares you this for implantation. Then the crinone, which is the progesterone, crinone, um, that also allows the embryo to uh, attach itself. So I'll be taking three meds after tonight, and I'll be updating you guys on those medications later on during the week. Um, so, what else do I want to say? Uh, yes, I'll be updating you guys next week. Um, I'm planning on doing a video of the egg transfer so you guys get to see the blast and uh, my hubby. And, uh, you know, how our day is going to go. And um, I'll be keeping you all in our prayers because we are all traveling through this process together. And we all need to continue to support one another. And I really do appreciate all of your time and those of you that keep me in your prayers and that always, you know, have subscribed and always tune in to my channel. I really appreciate it and I thank each and every one of you for giving me the opportunity to just give you an insight of what's going on in my life. And hopefully one way or the other, this can, if you're planning on going through the process, this can be um, a good channel for you so you can see what I went through. Maybe it'll be something like what you're going to go through. Um, and then for those of you who have gone through the process, thank you for watching. Um, because it makes me feel good to know that you all were, you all were there for me because I've watched a lot of your videos. And now you're taking the time to look into what's going on with me. And I appreciate that. Um, like I said, we're all going through this journey together. And uh, we're all hoping for our beautiful bundles of joy. So, um thanks again for all your time and uh i just want to wish you all lots of baby dust for all of you out there who's got your positive pregnancy tests congratulations and um i'll continue keeping you all in my prayers so uh thank you so much and congratulations to you all again and i'll be updating you guys uh, when my babies are on their way back home to mama okay Take care, smooches.